Assalamu alaikum. I should first congratulate the Reverend because she made the Muslim community sing and we are not singers. So, congratulate. <laughs> Greetings of peace to all of you. Thank you for coming out today. And thank you to all the speakers who very eloquently and passionately spoke before me. Their recognition, presence, and support to our cause matters greatly. As a commoner in the public sphere, I speak for us, the extraordinary average Americans, the silent majority, the popular vote, the hardworking, good-mannered, kind-hearted people who hold on to the values of human decency. We are the heroes the world needs today. We are the ones who boldly make our statement, our country matters. The future of men, women, and children of America matter. We will not go down in history as bystanders who accepted hate and bigotry. We will not give in. Yes, today we are standing at a Muslim unity rally. But before today, there were other unity rallies, and we stood proud and strong with them. And we will keep coming back to rallies until needed to prove our point we are one, we are united, we are strong, and we will serve our country whenever it needs us. And today, our country needs us. If you look at the people around you and smile or nod at them, the reaction is the same. A smile, a nod, a hug, a hello, a thank you for coming out today. Our common belief in peace, dignity, and responsibility to be a good human being does not lie solely in our faith. It lies in the core of our being. Your presence here is a documented fact that you are the torch bearers in the dark times today. You are the one holding and uplifting the honor of humanity. Change happens when common people courageously come together identifying their power. We aren't gathering at every rally or support group It's because it's a trend. But we take on this as our responsibility. We have to diligently work around the cause of justice and truth. We have to model altruism and courage today so that we can leave a legacy of tolerance, peace, equality, and compassion for our future generations. My religion my skin color, my gender, my identity is of a thinking, soulful human. They say we are different. They assume we will give in to fear. They misconstrue the truth of liberty by shackling us in labels. Well, we are here to say we will walk the talk of unity. We will spread tolerance through education and collaboration. Today, we promise we will fiercely work towards eliminating intolerance and prejudice. We will not stay silent. Thank you. We will not stay silent because every cause and call for a just, tolerant, educated America is our mission. We are aware and resilient. We are the people of the land of the free, and home of the brave. Brave to love, brave to forgive, brave to unite, brave to leave a legacy of an empathetically conscious America. I would end with the saying of Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings of God be upon him. You do not do evil to those who do evil to you, but you deal with kindness and forgiveness. Thank you to all, God. peace and God bless.